Hello! Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to the Golden Goblin series. Day three of Trackmania. Hope you're doing well. Um, today, this is where the schedule starts to, to, to skip around a little. So we're not actually going to day seven. Apparently, Wednesday is day eight. Or track eight. So let's just get in there. Let me get my timer set up. We got 15 minutes, you know. We're gonna we're gonna do what we can. Play alone and start the timer and reset that and go. Alright, let's see what we got here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, go. I oh the bumps. And then you got the dirt or the clay or whatever. It kind of looks like like a clayish dirt to me. It's it Okay. It's a straight line. Okay. That simplifies it, but it's not a simple straight line, you know? You gotta find the rhythm. Wait. So this is gonna be really good practice for me. Um, I know the first the first little while is gonna be a bit uh, iffy, but once we find the method... No, I feel like you got to build up a little, little natural speed and then there you go. Okay. I screwed up. I was getting a phone call. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Phone call, please. Uh, sorry. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. So you, you can't be going left and right. You can't be going sideways. Mmm. You get a little bit further. You pull off the gas. See, we bopped too hard there. Okay. Oh, I thought that was the end for some reason. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. We got a gold. I, that's not impressive. I know even yesterday I got a, the, the green one. Wasn't even close. Ryan beat me by like a whole second. Um, We keep improving. We got, you know, just under 13 minutes here though. So it's nice to get the gold early on though. It makes me feel good. Okay, I screwed up. But I think I'm kind of getting, I mean, the hang of it, right? It's like you ultimately want to get as much time on these little, or like traction time on the, the straightaways for the most part. And you don't want to be bouncing around too much on these sections because then it, it bounces you into the straight section. It gives you less traction. Dan Giesling is playing Trackmania. Oh, you guys probably can't see that notification, but I can. All right. Gotta, gotta, gotta keep it. Mouth. You know what to do. Now, knowing what to do and doing it is, is, is definitely two different tasks. Oh, that's a good line. That's a big bounce. Ah, we almost went too fast. Oh, no! We, like, we hit the finish line, but we didn't cross it. No, 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 no. Bring it around. Okay. Correct it. No. No. This is going to hurt. See? Look it. Look it. That's when you, you make up the speed at the end. Once you get your rhythm and your groove. So just because we're beating our, our pass goes at the start doesn't mean we're actually doing better. In fact, I would say it means we're not sticking to the game plan and therefore we're doing worse. Okay. 
You also want to like clear these jump. You don't want to. You want to land on the the downside, right? You don't want to land on the front side or on the top. So then you can keep as much momentum, but it, it's hard to. to get it going sometimes. Man, I don't know. This is going to be tough to beat, uh, to actually beat our, our gold. That one uh, you saw at the end was a little bit uh, bumpy but and lucky. See? Too bumpy. And with that much speed, it's just going to toss us around. Mouth. Uh, we got to I also know by hitting break and stuff, you can change your pitch. Uh, it's just, it's one of those things I need to practice more of to really get my finger feel. To just, so it's second nature. If I have to think about doing it, I'm going to psych myself out, which is what's going to happen here. So, I'm aware of it. Everyone's been very helpful um, with teaching me things about Trackmania, and I do appreciate that, and will continue to appreciate it. I just want to, I want you to know I'm not like ignoring it. It's just, it's a new game for me, you know? Oh, that, those are good lines. A little too bumpy there. Just go full throttle. Oh, we really slowed down towards the end. We could have. Um, so I was just actually looking at the, uh, the, the, the phone call. I got some text messages. Well, it's okay. We're all good. We're all good. All right. Keep it going. Keep it together. I want to try the like breaking in midair thingy though and see if it, I mean, it just slows us down, right? Like. Or doesn't it? Hmm. There's going to be some uber strategy, I bet. Like, somebody goes, like, super slow to a crawl at the start or something. See, this is where... Break it, break it, break it, or something. Go. Let's go! Whoa, he crushed it. Minus... Whoa, baby! All right. I don't want to call it a fluke, but like, you know, I'm calling it like I see it. It was kind of a fluke. There wasn't too much method to my madness there other than going a little bit <laughs> slower at the start. And then we got like a good line and then I just kind of pushed it. Unfortunately, it didn't bop us into uh, the post or the wall or anything like that. See, look at, look at that ghost boy. <laughs> oh, jeez. No. Wow, he's so fast. All right, keep it up. That's, oh, a little too much gas. It's almost like you want to have the whole way. You're not building speed at all. You're just kind of maintaining it. So like each jump. You're just, you're landing perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. Or you have enough speed where you're like, you're going over a jump. Like in between or something? I don't know. But you definitely want to be landing on the downside of a jump. On the down slope. Hmm. Go a little bit slower at the start here. Nope. Come on, daddy -o. Oh, that's good stuff right there. He's catching up. How's he so good? 
No! How am I so good in the past? Fluke. Remember, Malph? It was a fluke. I love trash talking my past self. What an idiot. Past self didn't know how to use the three shells. What a fool. All right. Oh, got a little lucky bop there. I really got to learn how to control my 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 air uh, pitch tilt, whatever you want to call it, whatever it is called. I think it'll help a lot with this. You know, every time we bop off the ground, right? All right. Oh, 360 no scope. Uh oh. Yeah, no. But he just, you know, once he gets going past self, he does not stop. So if you're not ahead of him, you're behind him. Like, or you're not catching up. This will be. Uh, you, you should take the chance to actually learn about the pitch. Three seconds. Wow. I, you know, on this track, though, I feel much better about my, like, 16 whatever seconds, like, my gold medal on this one in terms of competing with Ryan than I do yesterday. Yesterday was a, it was a, a classic kind of track. This one, it's, it's got a catch. It's got the gimmick of the bopping around. And I think this doesn't ap uh, appeal to Ryan's racing sensibilities as much. As like the previous one, pre I like I, I feel like in a in a clean race, without gimmicks, I don't stand a chance. Here, I can lock out like I did on that that 16 second run. You know, it still might not be enough. Again, he maybe he 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 knows like some advanced techniques. He has some track mania experience. So maybe maybe he's. Uh, Oh, yeah. See, I feel like this run was good, too, but we just did not <laughs> keep up. You really need... To, I think that's what you need to get you, uh, to a point where you just absolutely launch off of one of the straightaways. But I don't know. I don't know, man. Actually, how much time do I have left? Two minutes. All right. Well, you know what they say: two minutes in heaven is better than one minute in heaven. It's business. It's business time. I know what you're trying to say. You're trying to say stuff for business. It's business time. Ooh. That's why they're called business socks. All right. I might call it here. Not that I don't want to do better. I just don't. It's too early in the morning. My coffee hasn't even hit me yet. That's, that's what I'm working with. This is zombie autopilot mouth. Come on. Zombie autopilot. This is a song by the band Unearth. I used to listen to them a lot in high school. Oof. Yeah, see these bops? Nobody wants the bops. There you go, though. No, 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 no. Even in when you get the speed and you're, you're landing on them, if you're going sideways, that's good for nobody. That's just... There's got to be, like, a way to, like, ensure you're going... Oh, you know, that was kind of an okay recovery. All right, we got less than a minute. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, this is an interesting one, though. I do like this. To me, this is fine. Like, I'm not a fan of stuff like ice. But, like, 
different terrain. Like, uh, or like, uh, geography, I guess. Or elevations, or... Just the shape of the track. This is... It's kind of a neat one. Alright. Well. Timer's at 16. 14. Yeah, there's no way we can do it. I'm gonna stretch it out. Oh. And, uh... Let's just get to the finish and then, uh, and then double check the, uh, the score for sure. It was 16 point something. And those point somethings, that's where the, the winners are made, you know? Alrighty. 40 seconds. Nice. 16.678. That's easy to remember. Um, you know? No, I don't feel too bad about that, considering the, the boppiness of it. Uh, but hopefully it's good enough. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, thank you guys very much for hanging out. I appreciate any and all support. Um, likes and comments and the good stuff. Hopefully you're enjoying the other perspectives as well. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. Until then, peace out.